Back in the forest Haruka continues his journey out of the woods to escort the girls to the nearest town. But on their way they encounter a massive level 11 orc. Haruka tells the girls to stand back and watch how he fights so that they can learn as well. With that Haruka charges forward with his tiny stick while the orc swings its massive club down to smash him. To its surprise, Haruka suddenly vanishes from right in front of him. In reality Haruka is hiding behind a tree and laughing at how slow the orc is. Haruka remembers the nerds telling him that orcs have high resistance to physical attacks and can only be defeated by using magic. Haruka scrolls through his status screen to find good magic to use against the orc, and Haruka notices that he has something called element magic. Haruka notes that he learned the wind, water, and earth elements by using the packing magic in various ways, like vacuum cleaning and plowing the ground, and Haruka becomes happy at how smart he is. Just then the orc breaks the tree Haruka is hiding behind and starts attacking him. Haruka jumps back and tries to dodge everything and then gets behind the orc and strikes it with his tiny stick. However to everyone's surprise, the orc takes a lot of damage and ends up hugging the ground with its last breath. Haruka thinks about how orcs are supposed to have high physical defense, and the girls look at him with a suspicious face as well. Haruka says that he will take the next one down using magic, just like how the nerds told him to. The next time they come across an orc, Haruka creates a fireball in his hand and gently throws it at the orc's head. This makes orc explode on the spot, and Haruka one-shots another orc. Haruka wonders what's happening, and the girls complain because there is no way they can learn anything when Haruka keeps one-shotting monsters. Later that night they all camp outside and enjoy some roasted mushrooms while Haruka creates a trap using earth magic for everyone's safety. Haruka thinks about how his tent has monster repellent and is equipped with presence detection magic as well, so the girls should be safe for the night. Haruka starts planning their route for the next day, so he uses his map skills, which evolved from his appraisal and contact lens skills. Haruka looks at it and thinks that they should follow along the river, but then he suddenly detects someone's presence. Haruka notices that some humans walking towards them, and Haruka worries that they might be delinquents. However to his relief, it turns out to just be the jocks. Meanwhile the class rep notices Haruka talking to them, and decides to listen to their talk. Haruka asks the jocks what they're doing there, and wonders if they were stalkers trying to check up on the girls while they were sleeping. Haruka asked them if they were also creeps while being muscleheads, but they cried out and said that they were not. One of them says that they are not there for the girls, they are there for him. Haruka teases them by asking if they like boys, but they say they are not that way. After that Haruka asked them why they were hiding from the girls, and they replied that it was because they couldn't trust anyone anymore. They explained that there is a skill that is much more dangerous than the puppetry and mesmerized skill. Haruka thinks that they must be talking about the hijack skill, which allows the user to steal other skills and abilities. The jocks say that the delinquents didn't say anything about the hijack skill, so that must mean they don't have it. However that means that someone else has it, so they must be cautious of everyone. After hearing this Haruka says that they must be stupid, because they didn't consider the possibility that he might have that skill. However they start smiling, and say that if that were the case, then they would be really happy, because they know that he is not a bad guy. Then they ask Haruka if he actually has it or not, and Haruka tells him that he doesn't have hijack, but he has the domination skill, which sounds even worse. They tell him that as long as Haruka has all the weird skills, they won't have to worry, because Haruka will most likely just sit alone somewhere without harming anyone. After that they say that they will keep an eye out for the delinquents in the forest, and they are just looking to warn Haruka about the hijack skill, so he can stay safe. Then they ask him to apologize to the girls on their behalf, for not standing up to the delinquents earlier, and they walk away. Haruka sees them off by telling them to consult with the goblins if they are in trouble next time, because they are both idiots, so they will get along well for sure. The next morning Haruka tells everyone to prepare their equipment, and then they walk to the forest to look for some herbs before they leave. The class rep tells Haruka that she knows about his talk with the jocks last night, and she apologizes to him. Haruka realizes that it is about the hijack skill, and Haruka says that he knows that she is the one who has it. The class rep says that she asked the nerds to keep it a secret, but Haruka says that it was pretty obvious, but the jocks are too dumb to realize that. Haruka tells class rep not to worry about it, because they all trust her with that skill. That is why the nerds didn't steal it from her, like they did with the delinquents. This makes the class rep really happy, and she starts tearing up. Haruka points out that she has been crying a lot since coming to this world, but the class rep says that it is because of him. Haruka freaks out and says that it's a false accusation, and runs away. However when Haruka leaves, the class rep tells herself that it is because Haruka makes her so happy. After that they continue their journey, 
and Haruka decides to sell some fresh fruit juice on the way to, to cheer everyone up. One girl says that she doesn't have any money, but would be interested in paying another way. However the class rep scolds Haruka for being a pervert, and he stops selling the juices, which makes the other girls weep about not getting any. They continue walking through the forest, until Haruka spots the river. Haruka tells the class rep that it should be safe to camp out here for the night, and says that he will go on ahead to do some scouting as Haruka dashes away. While running Haruka enhances his physical strength and uses weight magic to make himself lighter. Haruka gets a good view of the forest from above but then Haruka realizes that he doesn't have a way to land safely. So Haruka falls to the ground. Then Haruka goes back to the camp and gets scolded by the class rep for being reckless. Haruka is a clever guy, so he tries to make up for it, by saying that he picked up some fresh fruits to make more juice. The next day they get back to treading their way out of the forest, and encounter a bunch of new things on their way. They find a lost girl from their group, and enjoy some time playing in the river, and even get chased by a whore of orcs. However in the end, they manage to get out of the forest, which made everyone excited. Haruka notes that his vision is covered by the hills in the area, and he notices a new air walk skill, in his status screen. Haruka uses it to fly up to get a better view of their surroundings, and notices a party of people from this world, getting attacked by a pack of monsters. Haruka gets down and tells the class rep everything. Being the good leader that she is she freaks out, and says that they should help them. However Haruka warns, that there is no guarantee that the people, are actually good, there is no way to know if they will hurt them, once they save them from the monsters. Haruka suggests they continue walking forward, but the class rep says that she will fight back if they try to hurt her classmates. Class rep wants to save them, so she looks at Haruka with baby eyes. Because of this Haruka says that he will go there on his own. They are too far away, and the others won't be able to make it, even if they run at full speed. Then Haruka uses physical enhancement and weight magic again, and then Haruka casts wind magic to fly himself into the air. Then Haruka continues flying towards the people, using his air walk skill. However Haruka notices the class rep hanging from his cloak and Haruka asks her what the class rep is doing. Class rep says that she got caught up in the wind magic and tells them to look in front of him as they are about to crash. Unfortunately Haruka says that he doesn't know how to apply brakes. They both crash down on the monsters near the people's party and end up saving them in the process. Haruka gets up and the party leader introduces himself as Ofter alongside his partner Gatek. They thank him for saving them and explain that merchants were being attacked by monsters on this route. Because of that they decided to pick up the quest from the adventurer's guild, hoping that they would be able to make some money. However if the fight had continued, they wouldn't be alive right now. After that they pack their stuff, and Haruka waits for the other girls to catch up to them. While waiting he cooks up some of his mushrooms, and shares them with the others. They thank him for it, and reveal that the mushrooms are actually quite valuable. The mushrooms restore their strength, and Haruka becomes jealous of the old dudes at the party, for getting the chance to go on adventures with such hotties. Just then the class rep comes back to her senses, and stops Haruka from turning into a villain. The other girls eventually catch up, and they become excited, to see real life elves. The party show them the way to a town called Omui, and the girls start running towards it excitedly, like some kids. On the other hand we see the delinquents, grinding up some levels in the forest. They say that it is about time they take revenge from the girls, and have their way with them. However the nerd that they kidnapped, suggests that they first get their puppetry and mesmerized skills unsealed. The delinquents all agree, and they decide to hunt the nerds group first. At the same time the jocks look at them from behind some trees, and become worried about them making their move. So now what will happen next? Subscribe to our channel to find out what will happen next. So friends, if you liked our recap video, then please like and share this video and do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching.